So let me just see some back leg stuff and check your little leg and your butt and your I'm also checking muscles. Nice. So uh, here we are, we have Angie here today, and I don't know if you could see Angie's cute little tongue, so sometimes the tongue will come out and stay out for prolonged periods of time, and I find that a favorable attribute, in my opinion. How cute is she? Now, how old is she? So Angie is actually 15 years old. She is a Yorkie mix, and she just came into our rescue last Thursday, so she's a newbie. And what's the story of you finding her? How did this come about? So another sad story, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. um, we got a call on Thursday from a veterinarian's office that they were going to put this little 15-year-old girl down. And not because of health reasons, but because her mom was sick and she could no longer care for her. So we immediately jumped into action. We went to the vet. We got her. And that's history. She's been with me ever since. Yeah, so you... Um... It was like the governor came in and pardoned her, right? Yeah, and you she know, doesn't... this, you know, old, little, old dogs that kind of, you know, have the tongue yeah. sticking out. We call them decrepit dogs, <laughs> but decrepit dogs are my thing. So, I mean, how can you deny this cute little face? Oh my God. And she does have a little bit of a tongue thing, right? Yeah, so unfortunately, her tongue hangs out because she has no teeth. So, um, it's constantly dry, it sticks out. Um, but other than that, she's in pretty good health. She does have a heart murmur, um, mm -hmm. but that's pretty common with older dogs. So, mm -hmm. you know, not anything too concerning. Um, her skin wasn't in the best shape. So that's mm -hmm. something that we've been working on with a but high you, quality you, you, diet. Yeah. And you um, had to clip her yes. because of her skin and yeah. hair. Yeah. So her hair was pretty matted. It was really long. Her head was short and her body was really long. And unfortunately, mm -hmm. there was feces getting stuck in it. So it was just really a mess. So yeah. we brought her to the groomer. We have a groomer that we work with with the rescue. Mm -hmm. Her name is Lisa. She's the best ever. Um, and she took her down and kind of cleaned her up. So she might not be alive today because they, she was all set up to be euthanized. She was pretty right? much seconds away from the needle. To, be, to put it bluntly. Because you had to rush over there, Correct, right? correct. They called so. us as like a last ditch effort. Um, and unfortunately in her situation, it's really sad because she was really just uprooted from her home. Her mom mm -hmm. got really sick, had to move in with family members um, and they didn't want the dog. And you know, I find it so crazy because she literally is a dog that just wants to be on your lap. And mm. so she's not a nuisance, she's no trouble at all. I'm happy to have her as a house guest and you know, I'm glad we could give her the second, second chance. Yeah, give her a little more time, right? Yeah, yeah. And definitely so, in a loving place. Yeah, you know, and my concern for her is, you know, at 15 years old, obviously she's probably arthritic. I do notice that her legs go out. Sometimes she yeah. loses her balance. Um, so, so I'm hoping that an adjustment will help yeah, her so just be a little better. Yeah, so we're going to just check her. So I'm checking this back leg. It's coming up. Now, you know, she's old. She's 15. How much is that in dog years? <laughs> Ancient. I, I can't do the math. But this one comes up a little better than the uh, left one. And so when I bring up the left, I just feel it twitchy a little bit, like it's quivering a little bit. Here's the, it's, they're so small, but this is the uh, landmark that I'm picking, which is she's got a little bit of a AS ilium on the left. And this might make her squeal a little bit, but let's see. Got it. That's good. Such a little sacrum. <laughs> and let's see. So I'm going to bring these legs up. So maybe um, you want me to stabilize in the front? just we're going to just bring the legs up and look. They're crisscrossing a little bit. So that happens a lot when she's walking and it'll cause her to, yeah. you know, lose her balance. So I don't know if you could see, but the left leg is still not quite the same as the right. Turn her head all the way like she's looking to the right. There you go. And then turn all the way to the left. She doesn't like her neck move too much. A little. Yeah. Left is easier. Left is easier. And turn to the right. 
and she does not like that way too much. So one of the things I also want to check is we're, we're going to turn her a little bit knuckle down on the back legs. So let's do it this way. So I'm going to put this, I'm going to put the legs the wrong way and she corrects it. That's a good thing. So that's checking proprioception and let's see this side. So she knows foot placement. Now when a dog has neurological damage, we can put their foot down and they don't even know. They look around, they're like, I don't know why my foot's that way and they don't even try to correct it. So she's got connection between the brain and the back legs. That's a good thing. Um, let me start at the top now, okay? I'm gonna come up to the atlas. The, the right atlas is just wedged down. So I'm gonna adjust that first. But before we do that, let's just check rotation again. She's like, what are you doing to me? So let's give her a second, but I'm gonna pull her. Well, she doesn't like going either way. But let me adjust the atlas first. This is probably her first atlas adjustment, I would guess. Ooh, Ooh did you hear that I little heard click? That little crack. Made and a little, she gave a little like <laughs> made a little crack. Good. And here's a little spot here. So we're at C3 on the right. And I just feel it laterally flex. And now you can look at her. Got it. Good. That went in. So you're lucky I just got that one for you. And then coming down here, checking each little vertebra. There's a little something where the thoracics meet the lumbars. Right about there. Got it. Oop. Well, you have such a cute little body. She's only three pounds. Really? Yeah. Here's one here too. She was five pounds before her haircut. <laughs> so I'm gonna just keep working, okay? I'm just gonna keep adjusting. Oh, the haircut lined her? <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Let's see how this front leg is moving. So we're gonna move the front leg up, just one leg at a time. Okay, let's move this leg up. And we're gonna check each little joint here. Okay, sorry about that. I'm gonna pull that shoulder up. Check each little toe. Checking everything, that elbow's stuck. What's with this elbow? Good. Got it. All right. She's got that knobby sternum too. Mm -hmm. Did you feel that? Yeah. So she's got like these little bony knobby spots on her sternum. Your other Yorkie has that too. Her elbow's right. really protrudes. Yeah. Feel this right here. Run your hand down the sternum. Yep. Yeah, little pointy yep. spots. Another one. And feel this side one. Here's a rib out. Do you feel that? Oh, that's bad. But that's been out her whole life, I think. So I, if I set that, it would probably crack it. So I'm not going to... Like, it, the tree grew that way. That's how the tree grows. We're not going to... Yeah, that's not going to move. It's like calcified. Yeah. So let me just see some back leg stuff. And check your little leg and your butt. And your... I'm also checking muscles. Nice. Let's check this one. This one's still a little hesitant. Okay, one more. Come in really close. I'm gonna using my thumb. Oh, that's a bad spot. Got it. Yeah, she's reacting to that. Okay, let's see what she says. <laughs> okay, let's see. And then we're gonna just try to relax. Now watch, I'm gonna do the same thing. Okay. Now let's put her down. Let's get down really low and see if she shakes out, okay? Oh, everybody wants to see her now. You better shake out, I just put me on the spot. Got steamrolled by Neutron. Was that a shake? There you go. There's our shake. So with dogs, we sometimes want to see them get back on the floor and shake it out. 
And that shake means they're kind of resetting and they acclimated the data or information you put into the nervous systems. Because remember, I'm using the bones as little levers to adjust not only their musculoskeletal system, but also their nervous system, um, affecting their uh, central nervous system, their peripheral nervous system. And after an adjustment, you put them on the ground, waiting for that motorcycle to pass. After the adjustment, you put them on the ground and they, and they shake it out. Just like that, that's how they do it. And um, that's a good thing. Now a horse, a horse will go and do this big licky thing sometimes, or, or even yawn. And we'll see a dog's yawn too. If you look at the first Nugget video, you'll see that Nugget yawns in the middle of it after I adjust um, Nugget. So um, that's it. A little Angie got to shake it out. We just did a few little things. And um, thanks for watching.